Hi everyone, it's me Jo, and today I was looking through all my favourite YouTube videos and one trend that I've seen pop up a lot at the moment is actually the trend called the power of makeup and I believe Nikki Tutorial has actually started this trend to begin with but I thought it would be quite interesting to do a spin on this because if you're new to my channel I guess you don't know much about my stuff but for the last, I guess for the last year it's been the first time in my entire life that I've been able to look like a boy so I kind of grew up always being mistaken for a girl and that's since I was like very small. Even when I was a baby they thought I was a girl, that's what my mum's always told me. I've always looked like a girl because my face is softer looking than most guys and I started wearing makeup when I was about 12 because I had really bad acne and I wanted to feel good about myself. I didn't want to have my skin looking bad. All the other guys and all the other girls had nice skin and I wanted to learn how to feel nice about the way I look too. So as I got older and I noticed that the the makeup you can actually apply can really change and I guess boost your confidence. I started getting more and more and more secure in my own skin. And with that, I actually started doing a lot of modeling as a girl. So when I turned 15 and I started modeling as a girl, everyone was putting me into these dramatic makeup looks all the time. So I literally used to see myself from 15 to 19 in all these different incarnations from the most dramatic editorial stuff to very simple and pretty looks. So I really saw from a young age the power of makeup and how it can make you feel about the way about the way you look and I think when I started getting a little bit older and I started realizing that I love makeup that much myself I then started playing with my image and you guys can probably see from my tutorials how different I can look with makeup so now that I'm 24 and I have a beard that's actually growing through like like a hedge <laughs> I can really play with the looks that I do. Now, today I've pretty much drawn on a boy's face. I've drawn on a hairline that's square because my hairline's rounder. I've drawn on thicker brows because my brows don't grow that th if they're not they're a bit further away from my eyes than most guys. Most guys have thick and like overhanging brow bones. Um so I've tried to make them thicker. Um, I've also contoured my face very lightly just to give me more of a masculine face. So if you guys are watching this and thinking, why is this guy even wearing makeup to begin with? It's purely because I look kind of in between to start with. So I would rather look like a polished boy, like someone on TV would be put in. Any of your male um, television show people or pop stars have this kind of makeup on. So don't think it's like an unusual thing. Even everyone from One Direction to a TV presenter will have contour, basically their base done and maybe a little bit of brow. So I, I really wanted to show you a video today where I'm gonna do this side of my face as kind of girly or more of a glam style. Well, I'm gonna call it girly for the argument's sake, but really all I'm doing is I'm just painting um, regular makeup on this side and we'll see what it looks like. But I thought it might be interesting to do a kind of trans person's perspective of this because I live my life kind of seeing through the eyes of both genders and I think that shows the power of makeup. And makeup should be there to have fun with, it should be there to make you feel confident about the way you look and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start by removing the brow and actually removing the beard on one side and I'll be right back. So now you can pretty much see the bare, <laughs> that's a little bit crazy. Um, my fake tans washed off. Whoops a daisy. <laughs> I'm going to be using some Max Studio Fix because it's an easy foundation for my skin. And I'm going to be using NW25. You can probably see as soon as I cover my skin up, I start looking a feminine. It's crazy. All the sketchiness that I have to draw on to look like a boy. It takes so much work sometimes. I'm just going to be using that same product in a much darker shade just to kind of bronze and sculpt the face out. So... I'm just gonna continue to buff just kind of in the outside and what I tend to do is I tend to make everything rounder and diffused. I'm gonna use this concealer by Sheer Miracles, it's the Wide Awake Pink Concealer. Um, I like it because it kind of counters out all the craziness that you can get with um, your dark circles. And I'm just gonna use that right under the eye and against the nose. Because what this does is it kind of straightens the nose. And it's nicer looking than a contour, I think. I'm just going to blend a bit under my cheekbone just to um, bring out that shape a little bit. Or maybe a little bit on the chin. I'm going to be using MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. It's basically like a press powder with some glow. And I just use this kind of in the middle of the face. So we get some skin texture back in. 
going to be grabbing this shiny bronzer by Vivo and it's going to enhance the glow. For the eyeshadow, I really want to just do something that brings out the shape of my eye a little bit more because um, it brings out the colour of my eyes and it brings out just the glow of, I guess, the whole... It brings out the windows to the soul. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this copper colour from MAC just on the eyelid. bit boring but I do like colours that bring out your natural colouring in yourself. I'm going to be taking a slightly darker matte colour, this one. That's the one I just used. And just bring in the shape out. I'm going to be using just a frosty white on the brow bone. And in the inner corner. I'm just going to use this paintbrush to really define the socket that I've drawn in. I mean how dramatic you want to say the eye is completely up to you. I don't like wearing a lot of eyeshadow. Um, I just like it when it brings out your natural colouring, your natural shapes and I think a little goes a long way. For the brows I'm using the matte colour espresso and I'm just going to lightly kind of define the sparser areas of the brow. You can see the immediate difference in shape between this side and this side. Um, it's coming together. I'm going to use this liner by um, L'Oreal, it's a super liner. And I'm just going to use this to just delicately line the lower lashes. about that. Now one look I've really been enjoying recently is doing kind of like a, a swallow tail. So I do one line up and then I kind of do a parallel line. For the lips I'm going to be using Gorgeous Cosmetics Liner in Rihanna, is that the name? And I'm just gonna start to define. I'm gonna be using OCC Lip Tart in Memento, which is one of my favorites. I love this color. Just in my finger, I'm gonna just pop on top. I don't really suit lashes, to be perfectly honest. I like using lashes that have very minimal band and very minimal lash to them because I have quite hooded eyes really and I don't think they um they sit the nicest on me so I'm using these very 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 fine lashes I just grabbed off eBay with a clear band so while they're actually drying and the glue is turning clear I'm going to be using this amazing code volume mascara it's um, definitely one of my faves. Now, if you're gonna use like dramatic lashes, you'll obviously blacken your own lashes out first, but I want these ones to really combine with my natural lashes, so it's not as important to do that because I want them all to form together. Now, I always like to um, build up layers of mascara. I'm gonna be using this color by Vivo. It's called Cinnamon Glow and it's kind of like a glowy Gorgeous, that colour. <laughs> kind of works. So this is pretty much the difference in makeup style that I wear. Obviously the main difference being I have a beard on one side, um, which completely transforms my face, thank God, because now it gives me the option so I can actually look like this. But this side's just as, it's just as fun to do. I don't have any preference really. So when I do this face, instead of making everything look curved and kind of create this glow effect, I make everything look flat and I build in angles here. I also don't make everything look as small and as open. So with this side, I make the brows look thicker so it's heavier in the eye area, which is more masculine. And I don't do anything to the main features like eyeshadow and lipstick and things. Let me throw on a wig and I'll be right back. So I actually made this wig. This is just with some Peruvian um, 
hair I've got a tutorial about that but you can probably see the effect of this side versus this side that's a bit wavy <laughs> and the real power of makeup all right guys well that was a fun video to do and it was really inspired by these amazing bloggers that have done this recently so I applaud everyone that's um there's been really fine this kind of stigma that make up some bad negative thing like for god's sake like come on it's not it's for, it's meant to be fun it washes off for god's sake it's not meant to be taken that seriously so have fun with it do your own interpretation and if you're like me and you don't really fit what everyone else looks like why not turn yourself into a crazy fabulous person why not have fun with it so yeah that's the power of makeup from joseph Harwood. me she her and yeah, please check out my other tutorials. I go into way more detail about other things. How funny is that? And then she's a boy. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to share this if you enjoyed it and tag your friends because makeup's fun. So have fun with it and enjoy the video. I'll see you all in my next video. Subscribe if you're new.